what's up guys welcome back to another video and an update on the build i figured i start the video off a little bit different um it's like let's see what it is give me one second it's 13 degrees outside and uh yeah it's freezing cold and um I haven't started this car in a, a long time, and I figured I started it today. Car started up right away without any issues. And look at that. For some reason, it's hitting one PSI, a boost, in the cold while idling. So yeah, it's just cold as shit outside. And those who are wondering if I still have this car, yes, I still own this car, I still have this car. It's parked at my parents' house while the Mark IV Supra is getting built. And uh, yeah, I haven't started this car in about a couple of weeks. Um, I wanted to update you guys on the Mark IV Supra build. I may not have a couple of videos, uh, or I may not have updates uh, for a while. Um, reason being is one, I'm waiting on the body shop. I followed up with them today. And uh, they said that to follow up with them in uh, mid-February. So, uh, a couple of weeks or so, I'm going to follow up with the body shop again to see exactly where they're at. Um, they're backed up, obviously. And I have nothing else to do on the Mark IV Super. Besides, I already stripped the interior. I do got to vacuum it. And then the engine bay, I got to take out the brake lines and stuff like that. That's small stuff here and there that I just got to take out. And it, should take, it shouldn't take me a couple of hours. Um... So that's why I haven't even touched the car yet, uh, just because one, it's cold, and two, uh, it's just little stuff that I have left to do. So I've been just sitting and ordering um, parts. So let's go inside. I have a couple of the parts here, and I'll show you guys the rest of the other parts that I've ordered. I do have to pick up another set of parts today uh, for the car from Almer's Toyota. And one of them being a really big box. So if anybody can take a guess exactly what that could be, leave a comment. It's a very big box and it can be only be picked up, not delivered or shipped. So uh, I gotta go pick up that box today. And then other thing that I ordered was the carpet. I ordered a brand new carpet instead of buying a used one. And I know I did mention in the past that I was gonna buy a used carpet, which I did find, which was like 500 bucks plus. Obviously I think it's gonna be shipping. So. The brand new carpet cost me around nine hundred dollars or so, and um, I figured, you know, three hundred dollar difference, two hundred dollar difference, um, you know, later down the road, I don't want to regret that I could have bought a brand new one, so I just went in and picked up, bought a brand new one from Toyota, and that also is, believe, is a local pickup only item, so uh, I gotta pick that up later today, and that's that and then along with some bearings and luckily i got luck uh very lucky with the rear bearings uh, i'm inhaling carbon monoxide while i'm sitting in the car Whew. <coughs> i picked up uh rear bearings for the rear mark for supra uh they're not available they're discontinued product but and, uh, apparently when i went there to pick up my other parts which i'm about to show you the uh, one of the uh, employees there mentioned that he got hold of the rear main bearings for the Mark IV Super. So I said, hey, let me know when you have it available online. I'll go ahead and place the order. So they were about $192 a piece, I believe, on $193. So about two, obviously, from one each side, uh, along with the outer and inner seals. So I'm just waiting for that to be ready to be picked up. Uh, but I figured today I'll go pick up the big items and then I'll pick up the bearings whenever they get available uh, to be picked up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I didn't want to run it for too long uh, just because it's one, it's cold. And I just wanted the fluids to be uh, running a little bit, in, um, you know, in the motor. So good oil pressure, fuel pressure, or the intake temp uh, is obviously going to be cold because of the car, uh, the weather outside. And then... Um, Coolant temp obviously it was like around 20s now it's 154 obviously the car running so uh that's that so let's go inside i'm gonna go ahead and turn this car off i don't have a lot of gas in here because i am planning on dropping this tank oh uh, sometime after i get the mark IV supra in the body shop that's the goal so yeah let's go inside i'm gonna talk to you guys about the parts that i picked up Ciao, va via tu 
So I have a little section made here for my parts. Uh, my seats obviously are here. And then uh, look at that. This is uh, brand new fenders to my fender. So I did end up buying the driver's side on the passenger side. Obviously, I want two fresh fenders. Uh, I believe I think I could have got away with the driver's side. But I think he had told me to just go ahead and pick it up just in case for fitment wise and everything. It'll be thinking will look perfect. And then I have some headlights down there that came with the car. They were on the car. I had like another set, which were complete garbage. I threw them in the garbage. Uh, they were cracked and everything. Took some pieces, uh, like the bracket pieces that's like right there. Uh, I think it's missing on the other headlight, so I took that off. Good thing before I threw it away. And then um, I have a lip here, which is for sale. I got it off eBay. If you're in Illinois and looking for a lip, this one has the year. So I got to get rid of this. It's like, if you guys want 120 bucks, come pick it up. Uh, Streamwood, Illinois. I want to get rid of this. It's just been sitting here. I ordered it. They sent the wrong lip. And then I decided to go with this different lip, which is at my other house, which I'll show you um, once we're done here. So brand new fenders completely brand new i'm very satisfied with this purchase i believe they're 292 i bought 300 dollars a piece for driver and passenger side uh and then my other stuff basically the seats and my old cowl there which i still have to order the brand new one so that's that and then uh let me follow up to you guys uh, when i get to my other house so at my house uh, i want to show you guys just a little bit of parts that i've gathered it's not much but um it costs a lot. I uh, start off these two big boxes right here. It was actually my birthday gift. Um, they're actually brand new 98 Mark IV Super headlights. I even opened them to look at it just to see, you know, the difference between the ones that I took out of my car and this one's. And, and it's a 98 day difference. And these are a lot clearer. And oh my God, they're beautiful. And so that's what these two boxes are. This is actually the dash trim where the radio sits, that little piece. Then I got some winter... Uh, Fenders, uh, splash guards, obviously you guys seen the radiator support, upper lower and uh, headlight support. And then you have some of these bottom rock panel, the trim pieces and then door pieces right here. And then these are the, that one piece that I was missing on the driver's side uh, for the molding for the weather strip. This is what that is. And I bought both brand new, obviously, because I'm if I'm going to replace one side, I'm going to replace the other side. And then you got the foam that I think I've already talked to you guys about that. And then in that box is the upper control arms for the Mark IV. And I just bought it because it was available on Rock Auto. And I'm in the hunt for the lower ones, uh, but they're expensive from Toyota. They're like $4.92. And I'm debating whether should I just go ahead and buy that and just be done with it or buy aftermarket ones but the aftermarket ones are like over like fifteen hundred dollars from what i looked at which was figs i believe it is and everybody recommends those because those are the best but i'm not looking to spend fifteen hundred dollars which makes absolutely no sense coming from a mark three owner uh because those are like freaking 20 bucks for our cars but yeah you know and what sucks about that uh, for the lower control arms is that parts are available for mark three for lower ball joints but there's nothing available for the mark four supers that are cheap everything's fucking expensive um and when i say expensive this box right here and all these parts i mean these headlights are you know they were a gift from my in-laws for a birthday gift they were a thousand dollars just these two small boxes right here just for the headlights and those window fenders uh wells and the splash guards and everything that's in this box and the two fenders that you guys saw earlier was about twenty eight hundred dollars that i spent um like these plastic pieces for the fenders uh, i bought four of them because two for the front two for the back and then the weather strip pieces right here um for the door and i want to talk to you guys about this box right here everything in this box is bolts and plastic pieces and stuff like that for the uh, front end actually not even the middle like interior the doors or anything like that this is just the front end and it's all, yeah it looks like it's all plastic and stuff like that but these are all completely brand new screws and bolts which i gotta go by part number and part number and see exactly where they go so i can at least let the body shop know and then lastly you see this piece right here it's just tape these two small pieces of tape you know how much this cost me which i didn't even know uh what i was buying at the time this is six dollars right here these two pieces ridiculous from toyota i didn't even know i'm an idiot for doing that so just wanted to give you guys a little update uh don't mind the mess it's my kids toys and wheelchair but i have more parts coming in that i've ordered i'm just waiting on for the bearings to be ready to be picked up because those are still on order 
Um, not sure when I'm going to be able to get those pee up that, but I'm not in a hurry. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything on this car is uh, expensive and very hard to find. And uh, if they are discontinued from Toyota, then everybody has a huge markup on it. And especially on eBay as well. So uh, there was one particular part. I can't recall what it was. I think it was a um, hood weather strip, I believe what it was. I think it was discontinued from Toyota. Now i got to find it on eBay. And I'm sure there's somebody's going to charge some ridiculous amount for it. So if you're planning on buying a mark 4 super and doing it as a project car i recommend first you watch all my videos when i'm done with this whole car and throughout the videos you'll hear me complaining about this piece of shit car because one i regret buying it because it's it's a money pit and i am building it from ground up from bolt by bolt as you can see from the box and number two everything's getting expensive and it's getting harder and harder to find and i could have right before i bought this car I could have bought an ISF and I've been happy with it and make monthly payments and be satisfied and enjoy the car as it's, you know, as to this car, just sitting in a garage doing absolutely nothing. So, yeah, I'm when I'm done with it, it's going to, you know, be added great value to it and brand new ground up and brand new paint. Everything's going to be brand new. That's great. But honestly, it's like it's it's a lot of stress, headache and me having to search for parts. So. Yeah, I, I, I do regret buying this car for some of those guys who are like, oh my God, no, no, don't say that. Yeah, I am saying that. It's a piece of shit. I, and I like my Mark III Supra. So uh, that's about it, guys. I just want to give you guys a little update. I um, won't have any, any updates for a while uh, just because obviously there's not going to be much going on uh, because I'm still waiting out for the body shop to get back to me. They said to follow up mid-February for... Uh, an update to see if I, when I can drop the car off. They're backed up. And so I don't see this car getting worked on and painted on till possibly mid-March, maybe April. I don't know. Um, I'm in no rush at this point. I'm not trying to spend more money. Um, I got to pay off all this. This is where all charged from the credit card. And um, yeah, this is uh, my life. So hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you're not, if you're new to my channel please subscribe obviously there are going to be more updates on this piece of shit build uh and those who already are subscribed i appreciate you guys thanks for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day it is what is it it's the next day obviously from the last video that i recorded uh it's 11 degrees outside it's supposed to be negative um nine today the lowest so yeah i hope you guys are wherever you guys are on hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for watching